Action. What's up, y'all? This is Nordrina. Make sure you subscribe below and enjoy the show. Bro, hold on. Yo, bro, I don't see you nowhere, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch where you going, young king. Hey, yo, you know where the fuck you at, bro? Try heat how you eat. Yo, I told you I wasn't with that no more. Yo, wasn't you just telling me um last week get out the game or some shit? Look, I know what I said. Fuck what I said. Just listen to what I'm saying now. My oh, nigga, none of this shit makes sense, dude. Um, there gotta be a reason for you want to install this bullshit again. My SSI check ain't come in yet, nigga. I need the money. You happy now? So why don't you just tell me who y'all got a line on, bro? Um, what up, my nigga? Um, what happened? I fucked my life up. That's what happened. All my people either dead or in jail. That's what happened. I'm a fucking nobody now. That's what happened. Yo, son, so all this shit is about your ego, my nigga? You better than that. You ever been a nobody? Fighting. Hungry, dirty. Then become somebody. Get locked up and your name still ring inside. And you realize you've been... You've been gone so long that... Your friends are dead. Your enemies are dead. Your family gone. And you come home... Nobody knowing who the fuck you are. I ain't built like that, man. I mean... It was, my nigga, you got another chance to live your life again. You can get it right this time. Normal life. And do what? This? I was the man behind the wall, man. I was getting money and pussy. You know what I'm saying? Had all the strength. Now look at me. I'm fucking nobody. Yo. Everything you did in there, you can do out here, B. I know you got some chicks getting at you. You straight. Nigga, all the chicks my age is finished. Looking like life beat the shit out of them. Whatever, dude, it's on you. Whatever you want, you can have it. Accept my respect. I'm not gonna be involved with you fucking your life up. So you just gonna bitch and moan with me all day? I don't bitch and moan, but I am gonna sit here and, and tell you to come up with some shit so we can figure this out. Whatever, I believe I got a plan anyway. Okay, great, let's hear it. I ain't got shit. Well, let's put the property in my cousin's name. 
Who, Simone? No, nigga, Cardi B. Yes, Simone. That doesn't make any sense. The money still gets going, it still goes to my account. She's not gonna know all that. She was just over here asking for my help. But I don't know how this is gonna work because I don't have access to none of that information anymore. I told you they hired an outside source to take care of all that. <laughs> well, you better find a way or figure that shit out because this is the plan we going with. So what about your cousin? She'll be all right. I'm helping her make a few dollars anyway, so. As a matter of fact, let me call her right now. Hey, cousin, what you doing? Yeah, I got something for you. Come over real quick. All right. See you in a bit. Huh, just like I said. You here because you motherfuckers need a babysitter. I guess y'all feel y'all can do whatever y'all want to do with no control. But I'm here to let you know I'm in control. It's a time for the war, a time for talk business. Things happen in the New York minute. To buy by the boot of the streets to get finished. Things happen in the New York minute. Things happen. Steals money, but they call us a crook. What hustle? I'm just getting money off the books. Everything you might think is a crime ain't what it looks. I fight just to feed my fam and stay alive. I fight not to kill my boss from nine to five. The rule is keep mouth shut and eyes wide. And if you live where I live, you won't survive. It's a time for the war, a time for talk business. Things happen in the New York minute. Divide by the code of the streets to get finished. Things happen in the New York Allow me to introduce myself, Carlos. My name is Lux. I'm the reason why they're here. Mm -hmm. I'm the reason why there's cars on that lot. I'm the reason why you're able to take care of your family. I have the care of speed. What's the reason for all this? Good question, my dude. See, life is about questions. And I'm about to answer yours. You see, you're here because things are getting out of control. And when things get out of control, things get messy. And when things get messy, that means police come sniffing around. And when police come sniffing around, that means I have to clean shit up. So bottom line is, I'm here to clean shit up. Clean what up? I don't understand, man. Everything is moving on all cylinders with me, especially with me. See, that's the problem. You don't know everything is okay. You think that everything is okay. Listen, what this got to do with me? And where Paul at? Why he ain't here? Good question, Mr. Swave. The reason Mr. Brawl isn't here is because you can't control one of your associates. Hmm? See, apparently one of your associates felt 
He could take it upon himself to eliminate Mr. Brown. Hold up. Listen, I don't even think I got something to do with that. Now, uh, never said you had anything to do with it, Mr. Swigger. I just gonna hold you responsible for your people's actions. I mean, I don't think you had something to do with it, but your boy was just a little anxious. Okay, so wait a minute. How am I getting blamed for all of this? And, and, and if Paul is dead, what makes you think my people had anything to do with it? Right. I never said Mr. Bro was dead. In fact, he's very much alive. And he told me your associate, Mr. Ike, was responsible for his assassination attempt. See, right now, I can tell by your face expression that you didn't have a clue that this happened. But this is how you can make it up to me. But yeah, how is that? Mr. Brawl is a, a serious asset to me and this company. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to give you the car dealership over there on Broadway, but under one condition. What's that? You eliminate your associate, Mr. Ike. What? Man, I don't want that spot that bad, man. That's my day one ace one out. No, I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> like, you act like I'm giving you a, a, a choice. I mean, either you kill Mr. Ike, or I kill you and your entire family. Then why didn't you just get us to Ava? Why, why me? Well, one, I don't have to explain shit to you. Two, Miss Ava is no longer with us. Three, just why I don't want it right now. So with that being said, Mr. Swave, be marvelous. This is some bullshit, man. Yeah. I'm a holler though. Okay with you? Like you really fucking care. What the fuck are you doing over here? Well, I came to see the girls, but looks like they're in Jersey some damn way. Jersey? What the hell's in Jersey? That's what I said. Where you off to? 
I was about to call Renee and go get a plate, but you said she in Jersey, so I guess that's so. Well, you could come up to my place and fix a plate. I'm good. Cause as soon as I saw your face, I lost my fucking appetite. When are you gonna let the bitterness go? When you're dead. So hurry up and die so I could be fucking happy. Boy, you better watch your mouth. I'm still your mother. You stopped being my mother a long fucking time ago. As a, as a matter of fact, I'm, you know what? When you get home, grab a knife out the kitchen drawer and stab yourself till you die. So I could be a killer? Like you? Don't fuck around and be my next victim. Ooh, such tough talk from a boy whose life is in my hands. You go ahead and try me, little boy. The moment that I die, a letter will be delivered to the precinct with your signed confession saying how sorry you are for killing your uncle. Bitch, you lying. Yeah? Go ahead and try me. When your ass is in jail for life, fighting to keep them butt cheeks closed, you see I was telling the truth. I need some money. You sound dumb. I ain't giving you shit. Well, I hope you felt good saying that. Cause you are. I just gave you $2,500 for a fucking car that I haven't even seen yet. What did you do with that money? I changed my mind, so I spent it. Oh, you got me all the way fucked up. <laughs> for the sake of amusement, how much money you asking for this time? It's 5000 Bitch, you think I'm a rapper or something? Nope. But I know you'd rather be on the streets than in jail, clenching your butt cheeks. It's a dirty bitch. You ain't gotta hurry up, but, you know, I'm gonna need that soon. Yo, where you at, bro? I love you, too. So what's good, my dude? Shit, man. Mm -hmm. So what's up? <sighs> Slow motion, man. Moving around, you know. Same shit, man. How the family? Everybody's good. You know, everything's slow more for me. You know, how's your people? Same shit, man. Everybody good, man. No. All right. Enough with the small talk. Holla at me. Ain't no easy way to say this, my nigga. Need another favor from you, dog. You serious? Please tell me you're not serious. Don't you already owe me? I know this, but I need another one. You're about to run out of favors with me. And when am I going to be repaid for these favors? I got you, bro. I'm here. What you, what you, I got you. Tell me what you need. We can do it. You know what I mean? Cool. I just wanted to hear you say it. I'm definitely going to need your help soon. I got something I need your help taking care of. What's the word? I'm here, bro. You're gonna help me kill Maya. You sure there's something you wanna do? I ain't never been so sure in my life. Why, you scared? Nigga, slow your neck. <laughs> never class to my fucking gangster, homie. Never been scared. I just know that shit ain't gonna be easy, though. Difficult like me getting pissed off to find my baby moms in broad daylight for something I didn't do? 
Oh God, I did not know that was going to happen to me, bro. Some real shit. Facts. But it's even worse when you get fucked up for something you ain't do. You robbed his dope spot, not me. And despite the ass I took, I never said anything. My nigga, I know that. That's why I'm here right now. I got you. Let's not front. Like you wasn't doing your numbers in that area, my nigga. Just get busy. So you saying you lined me? No. I didn't. I'm just saying, though. It was an opportunity. I fucking took the opportunity, bro. It's all good, though. So tell me what you need help with this time. Need a lineup, my nigga, but somebody worth it. No little bullshit. Line up. Sound like somebody's in trouble. Is that what this is all about? Say that, my nigga, yeah. So what's the issue? I don't need to know all that, my nigga. I just need to line up. Motherfucker, if you want me to help you again, you're gonna tell me what the fuck you need a line up for. Always wildin' niggas. 200 fucking K in Harlem for some dope. 200 K? Shit. That ain't no little bit of money. Goddamn, friend, what the fuck you got yourself into? It's me with the small talk, my nigga. What's the line? You're a little nervous, ain't you? You're not making this up. You really in over your head. You can breathe, my nigga. I got you. Your nigga name is Pastor Elliot Gaines. Wait, did you just say pastor, my nigga? Yeah, pastor. But I mean, he ain't no regular pastor. He had a church, but not too many people in the congregation. So, why the fuck is you lining me up with this nigga if he ain't even got no money? I never said he ain't making money. He sells Percocet on the low. This is how he's able to keep his church open. I make the initial contact, make up a real sad story about your life. Dude's gonna have you do a few runs for him. After that, do what you do. I'm with that. That's what's up. I'm with that, my nigga. I'm with that. All right, come back and see me next week and we'll do that. Nigga, I can't wait till next week, dog. I need that shit like yesterday. All right, hit me up tomorrow. All right, back. Good luck. Good luck. After that, don't forget you gotta help me with the mayor situation. I got you, bro. Where we going, all right? All right. Be good, my dude. Yeah. What's up, Bulletproof? What's up, Gabby? How you doing? I'm excited. Not ecstatic. About what? Because you're not dead. <laughs> no, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I mean, like, whoever did this to you, you should give them my number so I can get them a gift. Are you here for any importance or like a fucking good reason? Nope. Just here to wish you death. I mean, like, Sometimes I gotta question God, how he take Biggie Smalls and leave corny ass niggas like the you The same here. reason why he left you here, baby killing ass. Be the dick cornball. Can you even have fucking kids? Your pussy I probably scraped out like the fucking Holland Tunnel. Oh, I hope your killer burns you alive. Oh, fuck it, man. You need a fucking life, bitch. I'll stick around a bit. I must say, you standing around here all comfortable for someone that just got shot not too long ago. Kirk said he saw you at a place you was hiding at. Fucking Kirk, yo. I'm out here because that nigga dead. You sure? Goodbye, Gabby. You don't tell me when to fucking come and go. I come and go as I please. You're not talking to one of your little punk bitches. No, I'm talking to my bitch ass sister. You're not my brother. Get a life, bitch. Get a death, you punk bitch. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here.
Yo, what's going on, dude? Ain't shit doing what I need to do. Talk to me. Oh, so you just gonna jump right into it, huh? No how you, family, none of that. My bad, son. I just got a lot of shit on my plate I gotta handle. I'm only fuck with you. But everything good, though. All right, here's what I got for you. It's a small hole. Uh, let me see. They hold cash for auto supply spot. You know what I mean? It's low key, but there's a lot of bread in there. There's a lot of money in there. How many people are inside? I'm glad you asked that. Altogether, it's about four people, uh, three civilians, one armed guard. Um, so I'll say you're gonna, need, you're gonna need a couple people with you. Okay, I got you. Quick question though. Why you stop taking jobs? Right, so here's the honest truth. Ever since the birth of my daughter, that violent side of it fucks me. So I'm cool with that. I feel you. I'm only in because of my current situation. And after finally that clean this shit up, bro, I'm done. That's a good, that's a good move though. Though I must say, man, I've been concentrating on finding this broad, man, that beat me. For the property I invested in, man. I heavily invested in. How long has that been? If you ain't found her yet, bro, she she gone. I don't know, my nigga. This one got up under my skin crazy. That bitch gotta pay. I invested too much money to let that one go like that. Man, you got your health and your daughter, son. Everything else is irrelevant. I understand what I lost was my ex. Cash flow is everything. Residual income should always be your focus. I appreciate you telling me that. I'm gonna um, do some research and shit. Um, but I'm not gonna hold you up any longer though, bro. Um, I'll get the rest of the details from you later. All right, my nigga, I'm gonna holler at you. I'll talk to you in a bit. All right. Smooth. I'm sorry, but I cannot stop looking at this place. I thought this was like a factory building or something outside. I was like, this bitch about to set me up. <laughs> you funny bitch. Anyways, it took you long enough. My bad, yo. I had so many things I had to take care of before I even came this way. You lucky you my cousin. Cause anybody else, I would've cursed the fuck out. Bitch, I was only 20 minutes late. You act like it was five hours or something. Whatever, I'm busy, I'm a boss, bitch. 20 minutes to me is like five hours, cousin, come on. I know that's right, that's a fact. Oh, and by the way, thank you for having me come over for dinner the other night, that food was so awesome. Girl, please, whenever, you already know, you're welcome anytime. Wow, so do you like own this place here? It's crazy because as many years as I lived in Brooklyn, I've never even thought about looking at this section. Man, I haven't even been over here in I don't even know how long. I mean, shit, Deuce, Deuce used to, um. You okay, sweetie? You taking a trip down memory lane? Um, yeah, never mind all that. So what you had me come down here for? I know it was for something. Well, to answer your questions, yes. I own this, and I come here often, actually. I like to sit and I like to watch people chase their dreams, or the, their dreams for that particular moment. I like, also like to sit on a roof. It's so dope up there to view the city. Mm -hmm. I wanna own one of the buildings across the street, and to look down and not see nobody worrying about poverty, or uh, any of that. It's like, you know, and that building over there, the one I showed you when we was coming in, uh -huh. I'ma own that soon. And also to answer your second question, I asked you here because it's more convenient for me. I got some running around to do. That's what's up. Maybe I need to start coming around here and seeing what type of feelings I can get. 
Shit, normally I'm like so focused, but lately like everything has just been so out of whack. That's because you played around with that funny money and your favorite dick is sitting in the house and all that bad energy got you all fucked up. Don't look at me like that, cousin. You know it's true. Once you get rid of that energy, you'll be focused. You'll be back on your A game. I mean, the thing is that I, I do. I just have to let all that energy go. I do. But outside of that, why did you bring me down here? I know you got something for me because I know you're not about to call me down here for no reason. You already know. This is what I got for you. I got a property I'm going to give you. What? Oh, my God, cousin. Are you fucking serious? Listen, we'll save all those kisses and hugs for later, okay? All you gotta do is sign these papers, okay? And get it sold. That's all you gotta do. And kick me a little 5%, that's all I'm asking. Your job is to get this building sold. I could definitely do that. I mean, listen, if you could sell it for top market, that's $2 million. Oh do you hear me? $2 million. Dollars, but you gotta put the work in. I'm gonna get some of my people together and lined up for you so that you can have something going on. But we need you to find these papers for me. Sign right here? Yeah, right there. This is all good. I don't gotta read it or nothing like that. Girl, bye. Oh my god, cousin, thank you again. That's it. Your property owner now, cousin. <laughs> Okay, cousin, thank you so much. Bitch, no problem. I told you I got you. But listen to me, okay? If you want the money, you gotta put in the work. This shit is no walking apart. But once you get it done, it's gonna feel amazing. Tell me, okay? Understood. Listen, I gotta run. Oh my God, I can't believe this. I gotta run. I got a couple things that I gotta go take care of, but hit me up later because I need to learn everything that I need to of to take course. care of. This. I got you, cousin. Oh my god, I love you. I love you too. Alright. Bye. I love you. Talk to you later. Mm-hmm. This bitch is so dumb. Thirsty. And hey baby, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Definitely got how to sign them papers. And you already know. Now we just gotta get rid of those other three. Now, because if any heat comes down on us. She gonna take the fall for that. She hyped and thirsty. All right, I'll hit you up when I get home. Nephew, you know, same old shit, different day. What's up? Shit, I can keep this New York weather. I'm about to take my black ass back to the A. <laughs> I definitely feel you on that, you brick. What's on your mind, nephew? Holler at me. <sighs> Still going that bullshit that happened the other day, man. What happened? Fucking bum ass police, man. Niggas, stop me. So, naturally, they had a fucking warrant for me and shit, huh? But when they came to get me, it was like some whole other shit. What you mad for? It's fucking police. They doing their job. They thought they could roll on you, get you to fold. They tried, that ain't happen. Yeah, you right, huh? Oh, I mean, you out here doing bullshit. What the fuck? I hope you got that lawyer money saved up. Cause next time it might not be a bullshit charge. And then you fighting for your life. Uh, uh, that's what I've been thinking about, man. I've been getting by the skin of my teeth the whole time. I ain't gonna be so lucky forever, huh? You know, you can come to Atlanta with me, man. If you're ready to give all this shit up, you can come on down, man. You right, man. I'm gonna think about that shit, son. You're gonna die out here, nephew. You're gonna die. And I ain't some shit I'm ready to hear right now. Yo, um. 
on some G shit, whoever told you I'm gonna die, niggas better keep waiting. Cause I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Yo, oh, you seen the girls? You know what's funny that you mentioned that? I stopped by Renee crib the other day. Huh. Oh shit. I gotta go over there. I know she cooked some fire shit too. Oh, you know she definitely cooked. But I don't know how much left. You might be fucked up on that, nephew. Mm -hmm. Shit, you know me. I always find something in that fridge. Yo, you know what? When I went over there, I got a little crazy vibe when I was over there talking to them. What you talking about? I don't know. I stopped by the crib the other day. I mean, when they was kicking it, Bob was smooth. Then Adrena came in. No, she came in. You with her aunt, gave me a hug. Went and hung her coat up, and she came back in the kitchen. I was like, yo, what we was talking about? And at the time, I mean, Renee was talking about Vince. So, when I told her he was talking about Vince, her whole face and attitude changed. Yo, she said something? I mean, shit ain't about what she said, it's just how she said it. Like her and Renee, the vibe they was giving me was kind of strange. Like they was, they knew about something and didn't want to tell me. Nah. I don't think that. You can't really pay it to dream no mind. She always got attitude. And Renee, you know, she ain't never been the type to really hold no conversation with nobody, so. Oh. Yeah, I guess so. What's up with your moms? Where she at? Man, fuck that bitch, man. Somebody should have killed her ass a long time ago, man. That's exactly how Adrena looked and sounded. Yo, what's going on with you and your mother? Man. Nah, it ain't nothing now. I just don't fuck with her like that. That's it. I just don't fuck with her. Alright. I'm leave that alone, nephew. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself, man. If you don't mind having to change your mind, man, my offer still stands. Be Girl, good, man. Uh, love love all that shit, man. Well, we know. Alright, nephew. You want to invite me to one of your little singing things? Oh my god. Am I going to have to hear about this every time we're together? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been meaning to invite you, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I've just been really busy. So it kind of slipped my mind, but I'm sorry. I apologize. It's all right. It's all right. You know. Make it up to me some other kind of way. You know, I really appreciate you wanting to come see me sing. My ex, like, never wanted to come see me sing. All he wanted to do was, like, gamble. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring him up. It's all right. Don't worry about that shit no more. Good. Thank you. She was good on TV tonight, man. You know, you don't even watch the TV like that. It's bullshit on it. All the time, talking about some crazy shit. Freddie, let me ask you a question. What up? I said, let me, I said, let me ask you a question. What up? Talk to me. What are we doing? 
We just came back from eating. Now we about to watch some TV. No, us like me and you. Like, what are we doing? You know I fuck with you, man. I just want to take my time. Man. I like what we got going on right now. I like the pace. I'm gonna keep it that way. I'm gonna fuck it up. You know what I mean? I got you. I got you. Just don't fuck with my emotions, Freddie. Like, things are going really good right now, and if you want anything to change at any point, you have to let me know. Meeting you out of respect for what you did for me. That's cool. What up? Tell me what's on your mind, man. I think you know that Edward is going. We should partner up. See, you got me fucked up, man. That Edward thing was a one time thing. One time. Hmm. I don't think you're really looking at the bigger picture. Now, but Edward, now the way we partner up, we can cover a lot more ground. My nigga, I'm not interested. I'm good right now. Come on, this is a small business move, man. I thought you was a businessman. Nah, I've never been a businessman. I just do business. So you're telling me you cool with the money you get? Yeah. So I mean, so you happy living in the projects, man? Staying out here? You just an easy target. Yeah. Man, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Tell me. Tell you what? Why are you being irrational? Listen, man, I tell you, it's not irrational. I just don't fucking trust you. Understood. Is that it? Look, man, I appreciate what you did for me. I'm gonna help with that. But you see what expansion got him? Right now, I ain't ready to deal with that shit, man. Well, look, you just said right now, that means you could change your mind. Look, man, I'm telling you, you continue to live where you're living, you're gonna die out here. You're not gonna die like a king, you're gonna die like a dog. How many times you gonna say that? Man? You keep talking like that, you might as well end this shit right now. Look, man, I, I know you know this is the right move. I'll give you some time to sit on that. I'm good, bro. Oh, you must be lost, cause don't nobody see you around here no more. Do I look lost? Hey, boo, <laughs> how you doing? Oh, good, good to how see are you? you. It's been a minute. Yeah, girl. You got some nerve. I ain't seen your ass over here in years. <sighs> I know, that's right. Damn, man. This neighborhood confuses the shit out of me. It's crazy, though, cause I have so many good and bad memories here. I feel you. I don't have that many memories. We left once. This nigga came into the house. You talking about Anthony? Yeah, his bum ass. Girl, don't talk about your brother like that. Fuck him, he's not my brother. You want him, you can have him. Just keep him the fuck away from me. Well, if you hate him so much, why are you over here? So I can laugh at him and wish him death. I like his ass. I heard he got popped the other day. I wish they would have finished his ass. Man, don't say no shit like that. You don't mean that shit. That's you know? the fuck I do mean it. I'm sure whatever y'all's going through, y'all could talk it out. Nah, we not, we can't. We can't talk anything out. Okay. So anyways, where's the good weave spot? I'm trying to get me a new one. Bitch, you know I know. Let me get your number, and when you're ready, I got you. The next weave I get, bitch, is gonna be down to my calves. Bitch, hair is so long that I sat on my shit. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you still fucking crazy. You know it. Been crazy since 33. You still fuck with them thug ass niggas? You think you know me. I do. <laughs> but they don't make them like your cousin anymore. Make God rest his soul. 
I know. That was my nigga. It still fucks me up that like people were scared of him and all that shit. Whenever I was with him, we was just doing stupid shit, getting fucked up and laughing all day. He was my favorite fucking cousin, yo. Me too. I miss my baby, yo. That nigga had a good heart. And his dick game was crazy. Wait a minute. You had a thug boo too. What happened with y'all? He got locked up. Say word. That's fucked up. It's always the good ones they want to lock up. What's his name again? Greg. But he's out now. He did eight years and got out on an appeal. Greg? What the fuck kind of thug name is that? <laughs> oh, they call him Deuce. You don't remember Greg who used to live over there in 979? I heard the name, but I never seen him. Remember, we moved away from here when y'all got together. That's why you're yellow ass out here. Trying to get that thug dick back in your life, huh? You think you know me. I don't, but I came over here hoping I'd catch you. I thought we spoke about everything we had to talk about. I understand that, but listen, Deuce, I'm just a little confused right now, okay? But I do know one thing. I don't want to lose you in my life or in these streets. All I'm asking you to do is to change your life. I told you I changed my life. Coming out here every morning or whenever the fuck you come out here isn't going to change shit. Look, Simone, I'm going to get out this shit completely. I just got some wrongs I got to take care of. You know what I'm saying? I did a lot of shit out here. A lot of shit. But what if that shit don't end well? You know just as well as I do that things never go the way we fucking want them to. And shit like that and those statements you say brings your bad energy next to me. I'm really not trying to. I'm just scared. For what? We breathe, we live, it's temporary. What you scared for? What the fuck you scared for me for? Ain't you seeing somebody? Look, hon, I'm out of here. It was okay. good seeing you. But look at me, we need to talk, bitch, okay? So make sure you get in touch with me, all right? Now, what was you saying? I said, why are you worried about me if you're seeing somebody else? Right. Look, Deuce, about that, I just, I'm just trying to tell you. Um, right, um, don't worry about me. I'll talk to you later. What up, Kami B? Kami B.